I'm Kaylee Sneers. And I'm Chelsea Tolliver. I'm Davis Monche. And um, we're from Reynolds County, and today we made Tex Mex fajitas with pinko de gallo and guacamole, which fell under the fruits and vegetables category. My, and I'm going to start today by telling you a little bit about my plate. My plate was adopted in 2010 by the USDA to replace the old food guide pyramid. My plate has a representation of a nine inch plate with fruits and vegetables on the left, grains and proteins on the right, and dairy in the upper right hand corner. My plate's recommendations for a 14 to 18 year old male such as myself is two cups of fruits, but you should try to avoid fruit juices because they're high in sugar and low in nutrition. Three cups of vegetables, but you should vary your veggies to get a full array of vitamins and minerals. Three cups of dairy, but try to stick to the 1% or skim dairy products. Six to eight ounces of grain, but try to make at least half of your grains whole. Eight ounce, six and a half ounces of protein, and stick to the leaner cuts of protein. And in addition to the five main sections, my plate also recommends that you intake only about 1,500 milligrams of sodium every day, along with 60 minutes of exercise and eight eight ounce glasses of water. Jennifer, will you please tell us about nutrition? This is a very nutritious dish, especially since we <coughs> added avocados and bell peppers, which are both power foods. The three nutrients I'm gonna tell you about today are fiber, vitamin C, and lycopene. Fiber is the first one, and it is found primarily in the tortilla, the avocado, and the bell pepper. And what fiber does, it helps you feel full without extra calories, it improves bowel motility, and it also helps lower cholesterol. Then there's vitamin C, which is in the peppers, the tomatoes, the avocado, and also the citrus, which is the lemon and the lime. And what vitamin C does, it helps wounds heal, it helps promote iron absorption, and it also acts as an antioxidant for your body. Finally, we have lycopene, which is found in the tomato, and lycopene is a nutrient that actually helps prevent some forms of cancer, and it's also one of the few, few nutrients that actually becomes more potent when it's mixed with other things and heated. Kaylee, would you like to tell us about the preparation for this dish? Yes. Uh, the food preparation steps we took in preparing our dish were first, Jennifer started cooking the chicken and Chelsea cut the bell peppers, <laughs> the jalapenos, and the onions, and then I cut up the uh, tomatoes and the green onions. And then after that, uh, Davis started sauteing the uh, bell pepper and the onions with salt, pepper, chili powder, and cilantro. And then he was doing that while Lane was cutting the lemon and lime for the guacamole. Then Davis, since it's his specialty, he made the guacamole. And then um, Jennifer made the pico de gallo. And then we put the tortillas on the plate, and we put the fajita mixture in the tortillas, and then we put the guacamole, pico de gallo, and the lime and lemon on one side. Um, some healthy substitutions you could have for this dish are, you could use um, <coughs> some sour cream for dairy intake, as well as to help out with taste. And you could also um, implement beans, because that you'll have higher um, protein, and you'll also have a better taste with that as well. And you could also substitute the chicken for fish because you would have an even higher protein intake and it would just have a different taste to it as well, just kind of a variety of um, taste in your dish. Chelsea, please tell us our safety steps. Yes. In addition to typical kitchen safety, such as pulling your hair back and using knife safety, we also implemented the fight back method, which is to clean, separate, cook, and chill. Under the clean category, we, also, we first made sure that our hands were clean before the contest and also that our tablecloth was clean. It's also very important that our vegetables were pre-washed with the Lassier being a big factor recently with the Bluebell incident. So the separate category is next and that was also another um, big step because we didn't want to cross contaminate the chicken or any of our um, utensils. We made sure to use the red cutting board for the raw meat and also that we use the green cutting board for the vegetables. The cook category was next, and that's where we made sure to cook the chicken to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This is important since one in four Americans contract a foodborne illness each year. Under the chill category, leftovers should be stored in an airtight container within two hours of preparation, and you would also want to make sure that it's below 40 degrees in your refrigerator. Um, leftovers should be thrown out within three to four days. 
Davis, will you tell us the cost of our dish? The total cost of this dish with the single um, ingredient that we had was $2.88, and the total cost of the two single wrap servings was $0.57 cents with the two tortillas. This dish is very economical to make at home because it would cost not near as much as it would in a restaurant or something. And then one way to save even more money is to buy your fresh produce, such as the lemon, lime, avocado, tomato, while they're in season. Buying them in season cuts the cost and in increases taste and the nutritional value. To the Time. judge.